Hello and welcome to this new video and uh, here I'm going to show you some progress for my COA tools, the cutout animation tools for Blender and first we will start with the Photoshop exporter and I want to showcase you how it works and what you can expect from it. So we have this character here with, our, um, with all the sprites for each body part and um, if you want to export it, we just have to select all the um, layers here. A layer can be just a single layer or a group, so, and this can be exported too. So just select everything, head over to Files, Scripting, and then the Blender Exporter. You can set the destination folder, the name of that character, or whatever you like to export and then just hit the export layers button and um, this will now merge every layer and start to export each layer so you have the sprites folder here and everything will be exported to that folder so you see you have uh, everything named properly the name um, is given by the layer name and once it's done it will also export that json file here which will contain all the sprite information like name, position, the tile size and everything else. I've now unified the Photoshop JSON file and the Blender JSON file. So this means once you've exported a Photoshop JSON file, you can directly import it into Godot. So let's say you want to animate everything in Godot and not in Blender, just export it from Photoshop and then import it with the Godot importer into Godot and use it there. So, some other changes uh, or additions. Let's say we have this foot here with uh, its two different um, states and we have the sprite sheet. So, you can set up a sprite sheet by um, having a folder with all the different states. So, you have uh, this foot here and this foot and want to export it as a sprite sheet, you just say minus minus sprites and then the exporter will uh, look into that folder and export all the um, separate layer here. You can also put um, folder into, into each folder so it will flatten that folder and export it as uh, one layer. Um, currently we have exported the foot here with two columns. So you have this one column and this column. Let's say you want to have it everything in one column. So you have this keyword here, C equals two, and if we say one, it will export it as uh, one column. So let's try it out. Export. And now you see you have everything set up above each other. Another change or addition you have this M equals 30 keyword. M um, stands for margin and now you can set up uh, a margin for each layer. So I have set up a margin of 30. You can see it here that you have uh, some extra margin here. This can be um, used in or this can be needed for Blender for example. Um, so you don't have any bleeding edges here this which can happen if you set it up as a uv texture and therefore you have this margin setting okay and that's basically it for the photoshop exporter now let's head over to blender and see what changes we have here now um, this is our character and here for example we have the sprite sheet with uh, the two different states for the foot and let's say we have a face with many, many, many different um, sprites for the facial expressions and we want to select a certain facial expression. You just, you now can go through the index and see what you want, but if you have many different, this can be a time consuming task and therefore we have this little icon now, which will create a preview of each sprite. And you just can press on it and select which one you want and this will automatically set the frame index. So, um, for example, here it works too. Um, once you have a sprite with at least two sprites, 
by dividing it here, it will uh, show this icon here and generate the sprite sheet on the fly or the sprite sheet preview. So once it is only one tile, you won't have that preview. This is one change. Another change is um, you could set these properties here for each uh, sprite. And let's say you want to animate the opacity for, for all sprites at once. You could just can select the sprites now and use the slider and it, it will directly set the opacity for, for all selected sprites. You can also animate them for all selected sprites. So let's say we have a new animation and just pr select them, press a button and it will se um, set the keyframes for each sprite here. Also deleting works. Another change is um, you can now have a modulate color for your sprite sheets. So this also gets exported to the JSON file and can be used in Godot. Um, and you now can set a different interpolation type. So for example, for the foot you want um, an interpol a constant interpolation type for each frame. So just press control click on that icon and it will bring up the different interpolation types and you can yeah, key now with Bezier, linear or constant interpolation type. Okay, here is a preview or, 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 the, or a two, 3D or 2D view which you can set. So if you set it to 2D you won't be able to rotate anymore. And this is now set for each screen. So if we are on, on a different screen, you see that you still can rotate and use the 3D view. And here you have only the 2D view. So this works for each um, screen. Okay, that's basically it. Um, one last thing I want to share with you. I think many of you guys know it already, but um, probably a few don't know. So. I have published these COA tools recently and they are still uh, declared as beta, but you can head over to my GitHub page, which will be linked in the description below and download these COA tools and try them out and see if you can work with them. And if you have any issues or errors or something breaks, just feel free to um, write uh, a bug report here on github and i will try to fix it and if you like the tool you are you can feel free to donate for it and help me develop it and if you just want to say thank you you of course can also donate so that's it for this video and thanks for watching if you like this video feel free to share it with other people uh, give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching